So you're confused about mirrorless versus DSLR. Well, join the club. Many people are. In this video, I'm going to talk about whether you should take the leap now to get into a mirrorless camera or whether you should stay with a DSLR camera. I'm going to cut through all the garbage that's out there. But first of all, who am I? My name is Mike Patterson. I'm a professional full-time photographer located here in Southern Alberta, Canada. I've been a photographer now for over 39 years. I make my living fully from photography. I also run a full service photo lab. I put these videos out to help you get more from photography, not waste your money and to enjoy the hobby or business of photography. The other day I had a couple people come in that were picking up some pictures that they had printed here. And they asked me a question with regard to their daughter. Their daughter's graduating this year, so another three months. And she's really into photography and they wanted to know what they should buy her for a camera. And we got chatting about this, that, and the other thing. And they had looked at all the stuff that's out there and they were confused. They had narrowed it down to two camera bodies, one Nikon, one Canon. Both of them were DSLR bodies. And I says, whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. What does she currently have now? And what she has now is really nothing. <laughs> She's got a camera, old camera body and a really old lens. Nothing that she's going to want to keep. I says, before you go any further, have you considered mirrorless instead of a DSLR? And they looked at me and went, well, what's mirrorless? Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I'm still running DSLRs. I did not make the switch when everybody else made the switch because I didn't need to. I've got enough bodies here that I can run everything that I want with my DSLRs. They do amazing quality. Nobody can tell the difference from the print that was done from a mirrorless or a DSLR camera. It's a bunch of garbage if anybody says they can tell the difference. And I didn't need to switch. And it really hurts me to tell people, well, hold on, before you buy a DSLR, have you thought about mirrorless? And in this case, I strongly recommended, strongly recommended that they went to mirrorless. Why? Because the big thing is March 2024, that's what, when it is now, is that they're not bringing out any more DSLR bodies that, well, that we know of. And if you're going to buy a DSLR body today, and if you're going to start to build up your lenses, your accessories and everything, I honestly think you're going to be wasting your money. 110%, it's just not worth it. But at the same time, if you have a good DSLR setup with some good lenses like I have, it's really not necessary that you switch to mirrorless. Mirrorless isn't going to do that much difference. Now, don't get me wrong. Before you put nasty comments down below, because I always get them in my blog posts and my YouTube videos and stuff, well, you don't know what you're talking about. A mirrorless camera is going to help you in some situations. No doubt about it. If you do wildlife photography, it's going to help you with focusing. No doubt about it. In weddings, yeah, it's going to help you a little bit. It's not going to be a game changer though. It's not going to be, well, you can't do that with a DSLR camera. Yeah, it just doesn't exist. If you do sports photography, yes, a mirrorless camera is going to help you. In fast action, it's going to help you to keep track and keep focus. It's just going to help you. It's not going to make it so that you can't do it with DSLR, but it is going to be a benefit. So there's no sense if you're looking at upgrading today, buying more accessories and stuff to stay with DSLR if you don't have a lot of lenses. Now, for me, I've mentioned this in another video about the R5 Mark II. If the R5 Mark II comes out with the functions and features that I'm expecting it to have, I've decided that I'm going to switch my mobile kit over to mirrorless and I'm going to bring all my DSLRs to the studio and use them here because in the studio, I don't need this focus tracking this and that and the other thing and this many frames per second, just not needed. You just don't need it when you're doing portraits. You just don't need it when you're doing commercial work. You just don't need it when you're doing like videos like this. DSLRs are going to work great for it for years to come. But I want to increase my mobile kit a little bit more. And I just don't see the, well, the economic feasibility of staying with DSLR. Now, perfect example of this. And about two weeks ago, one of my regular customers came in and one of his 5D Mark IVs, he's a full-time photographer, one of his 5D Mark IVs well, was having some major issues. 
And he went out and bought another 5D Mark IV. And like he says, the commercial stuff I do, real estate, um, commercial like product photography, uh, even occasional headshots, I don't need the mirrorless. It's just not worth it for me. Whereas a 5D Mark IV, I know how it works. I've got all the accessories and functions and features and everything down pat with it. So I don't need to upgrade. But again, if you are looking at doing a major upgrade to lenses, to anything that's tied into the camera, this would be a good time to go to mirrorless. Or if you're just starting out, go to mirrorless. You will not regret it. Now, is it more expensive? I hate to say this, but yes, it's a little bit more expensive when you go apples to apples with the entry level camera from a Canon and a DSLR to an entry level and a mirrorless. But I honestly think it's going to be more advantageous in the long run. Lenses are a bit more expensive. I would strongly recommend, again, if you don't have a bunch of DSLR lenses, just buy the mirrorless lenses. Don't buy an adapter and then buy DSLR lenses. It's just not worth it. Make the jump now, make the change now, and you'll be much happier. So have a great day. Get out there and take some amazing pictures, whether you shoot with a mirrorless or a DSLR, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye now.